so it's not a spontaneous sort of event here. So that's definitely, you know, there, 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 there is actually intentionality going in through the uh, forces that allow this to happen. And that's to do with, um, you know, capitalism in general. But the um, free will is trying to sort of move us uh, to some degree away from the more constraining um, sense that the institutional factors can actually then creep in and totally like what uh, Max Weber would have called the iron cage of modernity being that our whole existential being Weber didn't use the term existential but being a sociologist of the early 20th century and not really aligned to the French continent or the continental philosoph philosophers like um, Sartre but um, nevertheless more, more of a um, a scientist, social scientist of that era, but theorised that uh, you know what modern modernity was doing, in effect, was um, constraining the individual to a degree where uh, the identity was just left gasping for. Um, as a metaphor claims, you know, the iron cage for a sense of freedom. So to, to, to possibly have a sense that they weren't determined by the, um, you know, those very constraining economic forces. So, you know, artisans would have had to be commissioned. So this is not being commissioned. So, you know, I do have this, um, ability to to do this stuff without having to um you know um be be told that this is what i need to do or just uh, do something else so yeah that's 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 a great thing so you know what emerges here is something quite i'm you know feeling this notion i'm getting a sense of this um you know human figurative energy here and it's hovering above this sort of figurine. So as I'm speaking about this, you know, iron cage, this is almost like the, the self um, moving away from the gravitational pull of um, swimming in the ocean of modernity. Now this wasn't constructed, I had not actually thought to say this, I'm, I had, this is not scripted. And that's what I like about it, so sometimes I love to uh, free associate with, um, you know, what I read rather than script it out and construct it too much. So I, I you know, I get this sort of sense that there is um, A kind of not a free agency but an agency that um, that which is linked to this art practice that feels a certain freedom so I find that art practices like this you know if done within you know the cultural perspective can give a great sort of uh, liberating force I mean, the force in that sense is a little bit like, you know, what mechanical force would be to an object. 
say if you give an object its ability to um, to project 